Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, hanging out with Mega Good Vibes, our saucy beeves here, our little sidekick, and uh, we are on to do some messages from the Divine Masculines, okay? Um, I've been feeling a lot of anxious energy coming from the Divine Masculine Collective, okay? So I want to dig into that. I'm going to dive into this reading, okay? So let's get the Masculine's energy, okay? Why is there anxiety right now can we get some clarity universe you know who is tuning in for these readings please help to bring clarity on their path why is there an anxious energy coming from the masculines i feel like a lot of anxiety um just like a lot of processing okay um these are way too many in this pile here but i will take these two guys that came out we're having okay so oh so we have messages and dreams. And then we have karma balance and justice. You know, the thing that I'm getting with this combination of cards is like it's having to, okay, I feel like a lot of your masculines are gaining clarity on who you are, what this experience is. I feel like the more they ascend, what what's happening is like they're peeling off more and more layers. So they're they're seeing things a lot more deeply than just the average eye, right? It's like all of a sudden they're feeling energy. Um, they want to align with themselves and like what the right thing to do is. And they're feeling you very deeply. Whoever is watching this, they're feeling you very deeply. Um, this masculine knows that this distance, this space, this coldness that's coming from you, okay, whoever's listening, I feel like you're being cold towards this person, and not because you're meaning to, um, but that's just the energy that's that's felt. Maybe you even feel at a distance from them. I'm getting that whoever's listening to this, you, you're in this place of feeling like you're never going back you're never going down you're never going back to that place and i don't know what that means for you but i i think that this is part of this person's karma um it's it's part of the justice here that's taking place you know but they're gaining clarity on it and i feel like part of the anxiety is coming in like their waking state so when they are awake they're feeling a lot of the pressure and a lot of the anxiety because they may be going back like going back on the journey like this is a person who feels like they made a terrible judgment call um that's what i'm getting okay they feel like they made a bad decision a bad call and right now this anxiety that's plaguing them is coming from a place of like like the end or they don't know like they can't bear the end um, I'm also hearing you two would have communicated by now. Okay, so I don't know if this is coming from this person or this may be something that you're thinking or you have been thinking. Um, but there is this freedom in you letting go um, that is balancing the scales between you two. I feel like that's what needed to happen because there's been some kind of transformation. Okay, how do they see you um, with the word transformation here? Maybe this might uncover a lot of the coldness too that they've been getting from you. Um, how do they see you at this time? What is your energy? Whoever's listening to the reading, what is your energy like? So we have the moon, okay? So powerful, intuitive, epiphanies. And I love that that's coming out with the messages and dreams card for your masculine's energy because that's where they're gaining a lot of their clarity because no one can <clears throat> no one can control your dreams or tell you your dreams, right? And I feel like despite everybody around them telling them that you were a b and c okay they've they are seeing for themselves because no one can enter your dreams your dreams are what they are and i feel like with the moon card here what's being uncovered about you particularly or this is how they see you or this is how they're feeling your energy right now is like through these dreams they may be seeing you and feeling like they've known you before they've done this this whatever this is between you two in this lifetime they've done this with you many many lifetimes before and 
that's where they're feeling like they dropped the ball. It's like, how did I not have this insight before? But I feel like what your masculines are learning is is surrendering, right? It's like surrendering to yourself. Start acting authentically. Because I feel like many of your masculines, you know, they know right from wrong, but they choose to indulge a little bit more in like the physical world. And at times that's gotten them into a lot of heavy karmic entanglements and not just like other people. Um, like I feel like karmic situations could even be like addictions and not just substances, but it could be like addiction to even something like money or becoming too greedy or becoming too... Um, like I'm hearing just the word money hungry, okay? You're always like chasing that high of being rich when you don't really understand what the value of being rich means. Um, so I feel like many of your masculines are tapping a little bit more into that or making decisions that are leading them down that path to tap more into that life, okay? Um, another thing too that I'm hearing is many of your, with the moon card here, and I feel like the moon card um, like it's such a feminine energy and this is how your masculine see you um, it's like you cause these epiphanies you cause these powerful breakthroughs in their life and for a for a long time they had a hard time trusting the connection between you two like what i feel is happening guys is the connection between you and your divine masculine like the a lot of you are detached let's just put that out there okay um you're still on this journey and many of you have accepted that but you are detached in a sense and i feel like now that you are detached many of your masculines are starting to gain a lot of their other senses okay and they're starting to piece together that you in this journey you have something to do with that so i feel like in a sense even though they may not be openly admitting it they're on this journey they acknowledge that they're on this journey um, the second part here says letting go of worry and fear. Yeah, understanding the truth of a situation. Um, I feel like un like many of them may not come out and again say, yeah, I'm on a twin flame journey with this person or whatever the case is. They might keep that to themselves. Um, but there's something here that is being acknowledged. And it's part of the karma balance and justice for you because I feel like whoever's listening, you've spent like, I don't know, like months, if not years... Um, just transforming throughout this journey like you really went through that chase of being of be, <laughs> sorry you really went through that phase of being you know that chaser energy really wanting answers um, really yearning and longing and I feel like many of you have have really gained that sense of <laughs> freedom where you don't need to know all the answers many of you are in a place of just trusting okay um i'll move back on to your person's energy but i'm just curious to get more on your energy as well because i feel like this is this person wants you to know that this is how they see you that's why i'm feeling attracted to drawing more cards on on your energy because it's also helping them in a sense too right like i feel like whatever they admire about you it's it's also teaching you something about what they desire what they long for in a sense so we have the four of autumn okay and that is stability and right away what comes to mind is financial stability okay um your your counterpart your divine masculine needs to respect money they need to start changing the way that they look at again what being rich means okay they crave stability and they crave success but like for some reason i'm just picking up on a divine masculine where it's like in this lifetime one of their soul lessons is to build their wealth and it's interesting because what's coming out with the four number is like stability right so on the opposite end is like instability so when i hear instability i i keep seeing the word shortcuts okay so there's a divine masculine out there where you've taught them to work for the things that they have build things create wealth um, instead of always wishing for a lucky draw or making risky investments just always hoping to go big on the next thing and i feel like they end up wasting a lot of resources and time and there's something about a lesson in this lifetime um, that has to do with stability but it's like you have to work hard to create that stability for yourself you will be very successful 
but you have to create it for yourself. This might even be a message for those of you who are listening. And the reason I say that is because you've probably already learned this lesson and you're like, yeah, I've totally learned that lesson. Many of you, I feel <laughs> like you're entrepreneurs. You've somehow managed to um, do things on your own um, because there's something about you know stability that means something in this lifetime. But again, I'm strongly getting build, okay? Because four, if you look at four, it's like the four walls you know, of a room or <clears throat> in a house, you know, just very stable, being able to provide for yourself. Um, I'll read the message here, okay? It says, manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money, um, help out those who are less fortunate. So, um, so overall, just being wise with the way you earn money and also keeping money and respecting money. Um, also to, I feel like man manage your resources wisely is coming out because you as the divine feminine whoever is listening your masculine sees you as very abundant and it it's almost weird to them and it seems very magical that you're able to create in the way that you do um they at times i'm getting like a, an energy of at times they might have been resentful that things are just so so easy for you or like I'm hearing the word surpass it's like many of you have surpassed in some way or like you've surpassed their expectations in some way um, but it's frustrating because maybe once they had the upper hand and it's like that's all of a sudden drastically changed within a matter of months or a year so um, I'm hearing like with manager resources many of your masculines are going to have to start like ch changing the way they think about what money means and I feel like you have a way of doing that. Whoever is listening you manifest easily because you're very grateful. Your masculines are learning to be grateful. <laughs> grateful for the things that they already have so that they can attract more of it uh, into their life. Like that's where the manifesting begins is when you start seeing the beauty in your everyday surroundings and things that are around you every day okay and i feel like this is a very magnetizing energy um and that's why too like a lot of them are anxious it's like this anxious energy is coming from having something really big happen in your life and it's like you want to pick up and call your best friend and it's like you can't okay that's the energy i'm getting from your masculines it's like feeling you gone in a sense <laughs> kind of like how mega dipped on us right like they just feel you gone in a sense okay um all right guys i am gonna wrap this up and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a card from the romance angel oracle deck and i'm hearing the word soothe so it's like almost like to soothe uh the divine masculine's heart maybe even soothe some of that anxiety that they're feeling um what does the divine feminine have in their heart space for you what's in store for you both so this could be around communication it could be around new beginnings universe you know who is listening please provide clarity okay let's take what's at the top and what's at the bottom okay so we have love yourself first which is an important lesson for many of your masculines right now in order to help them with that stability, okay? So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Um, this could be your energy as well, whoever's listening or how it is they feel towards you or they see you doing this or this might be one of those core lessons on your journey that keeps coming up. It's like it wasn't until you let go of this person that you became more abundant, first of all, um, in your own life and you release yourself from the need to know and that's a very attractive energy i mean love yourself first they're literally like <laughs> making out here in this card i feel that uh your person your masculine they they like that about you they like that your style is that you love on yourself or you take good care of yourself it makes you attractive in every way possible and i feel loving yourself first had a lot to do with just letting go and, and and really showing them that you value yourself okay like i'm also seeing too like many of you escaped a cycle where it would just felt like a game and you just started not recognizing who your masculine was anymore <laughs> so it's like many of you removed yourself from the equation um that's had a powerful impact on your masculines okay 
and then we also have make the effort okay so great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take and that's why i feel like many of your masculines right now are just kind of bunkering down laying low you know your energy as well whoever is listening to this reading your energy is telling them a lot about where it is you stand and believe me your masculines are very intuitive about your energy that's where all of this begins with the moon card right it's it's only after meeting you that their weird world starts getting weird right it's only after meeting you and you planting these types of seeds about deepening their thinking or peeling away layers or taking off those rose colored glasses it's like you challenge them to do that and it can't be undone so i feel that what's happening with your masculines is laying low right now and that laying low like respecting the energy for what it is right now and that's what i think a lot of your masculines are having to do is respect the energy for what it is right now a lot of the anxiety that they're feeling um they just have to take care of themselves right love yourself first um i feel like that's that's where a lot of this heavy energy is coming from it's like they want to just pick up the phone and call you because they know that you can soothe this scary feeling of shedding away a layer well it's like once you take off the glasses and you see things for what they are it's like the world for a moment becomes a very scary place right it's like now all of a sudden you start seeing deeper truths and the only other person that's ever told them about this before it even happened was you but now they can't pick up the phone and call you because i feel like they have to deal with the karma here of like burning bridges in a sense with you um and i feel your energy too coming in is very forgiving towards them but it's like not yet i'm hearing the universe saying not yet everybody has karma and, and balancing to do and part of them feeling you know a bit of this isolation this anxiety and this loneliness is for particularly burning those bridges it's like what they're going through right now and longing and yearning for you is like almost like the karma they're paying for those moments where they they kind of left you hanging in like the m most heartbreaking ways possible um so i feel like everything is just kind of you know balancing out until you know each soul can really appreciate the connection for what it is and the lessons for for what they are okay guys so that's what i have for you for this one sorry saucy beeves dipped on us i don't know where she went let me see if i can oh oh my she's literally laying on my blanket the same blanket i posted the short on it's like been her spot i think she's in the chris and she's in christmas mode she's in christmas vacation mode she's like uh-uh uh -uh, i ain't doing no work i'm on christmas vacay huh what are you doing over there huh you guys i kid you not she's literally on my bed puffed up on top of my comforter all right guys we love you take it easy and we'll catch you later okay all right bye guys